one of the issues that we need to tackle as a country is our attitude towards sanitation. We can have 10 of these factories as envisaged by the just one group of companies across country. But if we continue to lather around, to do the kind of things that I don't want to mention here, we'll still be in the same position with all these beautiful edifices being built across the country. So the Jamestown Declaration called for a change in our attitudes, and I believe that the chiefs, the opinion leaders, the clergy would also advocate for good cleanliness within our various communities to ensure that Ghana becomes one of the cleanest countries and Accra becomes one of the cleanest cities in the world. Secondly, is the response by Mr. Jo Dr. Joseph Sian Ejepon to take advantage of the President's vision by partnering his business associates uh, to put up this facility today. I don't think it was um, just a walk in the park before this edifice was put up. He had to do a lot of consultation, he had to put a lot of investment together and a lot of ideas. And I believe the Ghanaian private sector must take up that challenge to ensure that they participate because we say water is life but sanitation is what? Dignity. And there's a lot of business and a lot of money to be made out of the sanitation industry for which the Ghanaian private sector must take advantage of. It's Ghana's effort to achieve the SDG 6, which is on sanitation and water. And I believe with such infrastructure in place and the effort by government, by setting up a dedicated ministry to take care of water and sanitation, we believe that the president is well focused in achieving his vision and his aim of ensuring that Ghana attains all the ingredients as enshrined in the SDG 6.